okay. <laughs> you don't care if I cry. Some style. Oh, I really like those. Yeah. And I don't care that you're gonna see my stretch marks. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Our Family Nest. So we have some progress on our kitchen. In the past couple days, the guy has come to put some kind of like, um, oh shoot, I don't know what that's called, drywall compound stuff to smooth out the mess we had going on up here. And then today he came and sprayed the knockdown. So the lights popped out of the wall there. And then we had just a small patch over here. I don't know what that was from, but this whole ceiling's gonna need to get painted. Obviously, any of the paint that flows, so we'll be able to stop there, go along here, all that's gonna need to be painted, this whole area, and then all the way, we'll be able to stop right there. Which is good that they have to paint that, because I don't know how that got there. Kids moving stuff up and downstairs or something, I have no idea. The little bit exhausting part is just the fact that I've cleaned this kitchen so, so many times. Wipe down things. See this cabinet right here, you can tell it's dirty. So I'm thinking that we're in the clear of the big, huge mess. Other than when they tile this wall, it'll make a little bit of mess, but it's not like it's gonna be like dust flying all over. Like, cause they, whatever that stuff was they put down, I think had to be sanded first before they could do the knockdown. I think that's why like my countertops are all like gritty and yeah, look at this. See my fingertips. So, while I should be working out right now, instead I'm gonna do a quick cleaning of this kitchen, clean up the floor, mop the floor. I still have to edit my video that goes up today too, so that's gonna be late. I was up until 2.30 last night, somewhere in there, 2, 2.30, finishing our taxes. It's finally done, I feel so good. I'm just like, it was just something on my checklist that had to get done before the end of the month. So just a lot of work being your own accountant. And we went to an accountant before. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. We went to an accountant like a year or so ago, maybe. I think it was a year ago. And um, they looked at like our last three years taxes. Said that we were doing everything correctly, but yet they could help us by doing our taxes for us and filing our quarterly taxes for $10,000 a year and I'm like, but what am I paying for? If I'm already doing everything correctly and there's not any things that I'm like missing out on additional deductions or something like that. I mean, I get it, we have multiple businesses so it is a lot of work and that's why it takes so long because there's profit and loss sheets for one, two, three, four businesses. Although I closed Ivy and Sage in November of last year, so we won't have that one anymore. But it's like, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's not worth paying somebody $10,000 for. So it's like, I, I think I will still do this myself. <laughs> Oh, I have to share with you guys how much I love this Dawn sprayer. Actually, I have the Dawn. It's like a power sprayer. And then I have the Mr. Clean one too, and it smells so good. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but just like you press it one time. I don't know, it's just better. It's hard to explain. It's just better than a regular sprayer.
just left her and I just filmed a video together for her channel um, she wasn't sure if it was gonna go up this week yet or next week so I wonder if all of you guys know that we have well I shouldn't say we our family including Asha we have multiple YouTube channels because there's our family nest then Carly has her channel Carly Reese Chase and Asha have a couple's channel and then Asha has her own channel and they're all linked below in the description so be sure to go check them out and subscribe if you haven't already so I wore this shirt again today not because I mean I love the shirt don't get me wrong but I really just love these earrings and they just look so cute with the shirt have I showed you guys this little jewelry organizer thing that I have I got this off Amazon. I will link it down below. It's actually double-sided too. I don't have anything on the other side yet. And I don't have all my jewelry in it yet. This is just some new stuff that I bought. I need to go through. This is where I was storing my jewelry. And it's kind of just a hot mess in here. So I need to go through all this. A lot of these earrings I've had and I haven't worn in years. But yeah, I mostly came in here to get these earrings because I love them. They just look really cute with this top, do they not? This top's from Maurice's. I filmed a whole Maurice's haul. I will link that down below so you guys can see when I got some new clothes. And I ordered a few new summer tops from Maurice's. But I will wait because I'm going to go right now with Carly. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. So I might get some like tops and shorts like for vacation, for spring break. So I'll probably save those Maurice's clothes and I'll probably do like a spring break haul. Mainly I need to look for bathing suits because last year I had got bathing suits off of uh, Land's End because I really like their uh, shorts that they have. I got these shorts, I got I this top, and I went down, let's see, bra size around for bras I went down six inches and cup size I went down as well so these bathing suits are going to be too big on me I need some new bathing suits for spring break too say hi this is Carly when's the last time they've seen you probably like yesterday <laughs> no they didn't so we're at the mall and Carly just told me all the stuff that I didn't know like the mall closes at 7 and it's 608 didn't know that the Although, dressing rooms are closed oh yeah I can't try anything on that's the whole point of this trip so I don't know we're gonna go in or all the bathing suits upstairs probably I don't shop at Dillard's uh, where else would I go for a bathing suit <sighs> I don't know I mean, once you find your size, you can order anything online. Yeah, but now we're to the point that ordering online, we're almost out of time. This is not childish. Are you kidding? It's really cute. Look 10, look, it says look 10 pounds lighter in seconds. Why is that? What is this? Cheetah print. This one says look 10 pounds lighter in seconds too. Okay, so I was looking at this, which I don't even know if I quite understand. Guess how much this is? $122, just for the top. That's insane. How much are the shorts? Shorts are free. <laughs> I got a bathing suit. $76. A bathing suit top from Sheen for like $4. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was a total fail. No bathing suits. They either were like way too little or way too big. Like grandma looking. Alright, so now we're at Target. I'm not gonna find anything in here. Why are we here? I need stuff and there's bathing suits that will fit you. I'm just gonna have to order online and they're probably not gonna come in on time and I don't know what size I wear. I just wanted to try on a stinking bathing suit. And try one on. You said they don't have any dressing rooms here either. Buy it and take it home. You have lots of time. My stomach hurts. Carly made me eat Bibby Bop. I didn't make you eat anything. I didn't even say anything. I was upstairs and you texted me, should I order it now? No, oh, you wanted me to order Bibby no. Bop yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to show you the no. text message? No. You go, do you want 
Bibby Bop and I said, no, I already took chicken out for dinner. We'll get it tomorrow while well, we're out shopping. Who was the one who said we would get it tomorrow? It wasn't me. Well, what else were we gonna get? We should go to Starbucks and get water with lemonade in it. It's really good. It's free. <laughs> water with lemonade it's that's true. so extra to go through the drive-thru and get two free drinks no that's not extra at all it's free <laughs> that's so weak that's like kind of rude actually they don't care i think they do i pulled up in front of this pole and she probably hit it not gonna we're lie. gonna see how close i got because i don't I, I bet you i'm at least two inches away i'm like a foot away <laughs> All right, I like those. Got it. These also add some style. Oh, I really like those. And I have black ones that are from. Where that pasta? Is it in your hair? So. And I have those ones from Pakistan, and I have the ones I got for my birthday. All right, so I have some but bathing I've had those suits. For a while, so I just. That we're gonna try on. That should be interesting. All right, and I kind of like these. This is my style, like a bigger. Oh yeah, they have sandals here. I like just like standard flip flops. I have those one shoes. What are those called? Mm. Oh, your uh, Steve Madden's. Yeah, I forgot about those. Those aren't to wear like to the. What would you wear to the pool? Ooh. You're wearing your bathing suit and you're going to the pool. Probably what do you? My Burks or something else that I haven't figured out yet. Wait, I think you need like just a pair of slip-ons. Not from here. All right, I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> you don't care if I cry. So I lose almost 40 pounds, and there's no clothes to buy. I'm at 38 pounds down now. And what am I supposed to wear? What? You're not helping me. I'm really busy. Carly, you have to help me. I'm trying to find my own clothes. All right, I'm just gonna go. Why are you so zoomed in? This is the kit. No, this it's is not. Zoom out. Told you. <laughs> I'm using the old G7X. Brought it out of the archives. G7X Mark II. The archives. That's the really dino dinosaur archives. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna wear? Nothing. I got bathing suits from Target that I guarantee are not going to fit and are going to make me feel discouraged because their stuff runs small and the sizes aren't going to fit me and then I'm going to be like, what I lose weight for. <laughs> Why are you hitting me? And we went through Kohl's and unless you're 14 or 60, there's no clothes in Kohl's. Am I right or wrong? Uh, 14 year olds dress a little worse than that. I'd say like 10 for sure. The junior section, who shops in there? 10 year olds. <laughs> you shopped there when you were 14. Well, yeah. Do you know how much times they've changed? Really? Do you see how 14? 14 year olds are like the eighth graders at my school. You think they dress like that? Really? So now what? We go home. We go home and so go we can online shop. Yep. There's no clothes. <laughs> are you making fun of me? Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're back home. These are the polishes I got. I like the Sally Handsome uh, Miracle Gel, and I got number 762. It's kind of like a green color. I got 582. It's a really light purple. And then I got 496. It's kind of like a, I don't know, mauve, orangey mauve, brownish mauve maybe. And then this is just a clear coat. I needed a new one of those bathing suits that I got. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them or if I'm going to even want to wear them outside of my backyard. But I thought I'll get them, try them on, and see what I look think. So this one is a one piece like this. This is what it looks like in the back. It's got these little ties on the side so you can kind of like cinch how high up you want it to come up on your hip. And then this one but it has straps but it looks strapless. That's what that one looks like. It's just got the ruffle 
all the way on the top. And then these have these little shorts. Well, you buy those separate. And then this is the top. We will see if they fit and if I like them. If not, I'll take them back. All right, guys, so, so it's actually 11.30. Ken just went to bed. We were hanging out in the bedroom with Chase and Carly. Carly did end up finding some things from PacSun and from uh, Forever 21. So I'm sure when everything comes in, she'll do a haul video for myself. So I tried on both of these one-piece bathing suits. And uh, they're just, they fit, but like this like I'm longer in my torso and I have shorter legs so this definitely I would have had to wear the straps with it which I really kind of didn't want to I just wanted something like cute to lay out in the sun and not get like tan marks and it's just not comfy enough and then this one was like really tight kind of like in the back part so I'm going to take both of those back I have this pile here to get rid of they're just super old or like too big. If you guys remember the two bathing suit tops that I got last summer from Land's End, this was one of the patterns. And then I have this blue floral print one. They're too big, but I'm still going to hang on to them because especially to just like swim here at the house, I'm not worried if they're a little too big. I am going to take this one on vacation and the swim shorts that I bought, the last summer they're just so big and baggy i have those in the get rid of pile but i have some other black shorts that i have bought like through the years that are smaller size so i'm gonna bring those and then this top that i got from target this bikini top actually fit me really good so i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna keep it and i'm actually gonna wear it on vacation and i don't care that you're gonna see my stretch marks and my upper stomach and whatever who cares right all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video bye